Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Clean Money. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys giving me some of your time. So tomorrow, the CPI numbers will release, and there's some chatter about the CPI numbers possibly being lower than expected, and that is that might bring some fireworks. That might bring some happiness to some people. Like me, I like to buy my metals as cheap as possible. Some people, well, they're just gonna get <laughs> they're gonna get upset. But you know, a stacker's mentality is to get as much metal as you can for as cheap as you can, right? So this might be one of those opportunities. Now, whether you believe the CPI numbers or not, that's a different story. That's that's a whole nother conversation. It's what the market determines. Okay, if the market says, "Hey, this is legit." Uh, you could actually see precious metals fall very low. And that has got me, you know, in the mood to, to, to do some shopping. I have some cash on hand. And I know you see this right here, and I'll show you that in one second. But I just want to go over what I think is going to take place. Now, if inflation numbers stay neutral or if they go lower, some are, some are saying that it's going to be a half a percent lower than where it's at, maybe 8%. Now that, I think, is gonna trigger the markets to dump your precious metals, your safe, haze, your safe havens, and I think you're gonna get a nice buying opportunity right there. Now, on the other hand, what could happen is the numbers could be higher. It could go either way, but you know, I'm just going off of what everybody is saying. They're saying that uh, it's gonna, might be as much as a half a percent. Now, if that's true, if it is down a half a percent, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of money flow into the markets. You're going to see equities boom. You're going to see crypto boom. It's just the way it's going to work. Now, on the opposite end, if the numbers are higher, what you're going to see is you're going to see precious metals boom. You're going to see your safe havens, right? Your commodities. All those are going to boom, right? That's what's going to take place. So having some, some cash set aside for moments like these, and trying to anticipate what might take place. Not what people are saying, you know, but what is actually taking place. You know, it's not just what uh, uh, the uh, the YouTube pumpers or, or, or whatnot are saying. You have to read between the tea leaves. You know, there was a press conference today. Listen to that. Whether you believe what's being said, doesn't matter. Read the tea leaves. Figure out what exactly they're trying to say ahead of time. Now... <laughs> I try to stay out of politics, but I think it is a, a necessary evil that you have to pay attention to and you have to focus because it helps you save money and it helps you invest wisely. And it's a fine line, okay? So I'm just going to leave you at that. I, I'm, I'm anticipating tomorrow. This is one of the things that I like to, to hone in on. And this is why I like to save a little bit of cash have some of that, you know, dry powder ready to go. That's this is one of those moments. All right. So, this right here, fellas and ladies, this right here is number 20. And yeah, it is a proof gold buffalo. And as you can see, it does have a couple copper spots. There's one right there. Let's see, on the arm, and then there's one right above the uh, private parts. You see it there? And then I'll flip it over. And it's, on this side, it is going to be right there above the L. You see it right there? Yep, there you go. That is the copper spot right there. And you're, I know what you're thinking. How is there copper spots on a pure gold coin? Well, that's another video. <laughs> I'll have to do one on that too. But they do happen. And But it's okay. It's still one ounce of gold. And it is still real money. And there you go. That is number 20, and that is going to close the door on this buffalo tube I've been working on for the past couple years. So that is finito. That is done. So it's onwards and upwards from here on out. I don't know exactly where I should go with my next purchase. I'm leaning towards the Britannia. I like the Britannias. I like the security features on them. I love the premiums on them. The premiums are just they're just phenomenal. Uh, you're looking at three to four percent premium, and that is that's a nice pickup. You know, that's almost gold bar material. You know, gold bars are your cheapest bullion, but this actually has five security features in it. 
Plus, it's a coin. It's a sovereign minted bullion coin, and that's something that I prefer. So it, it's a no-brainer to me as far as that goes. I really like the maples, but I just can't get over the size of them. But I also like my eagles. But then again, I like to stack fractional eagles. So I'm leaning more and more towards that Britannia. Or it's a possibility that I might pick up a Royal Canadian Mint Gold Bar. It's a possibility. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really uh, struggling with this one. But hopefully tomorrow we'll get some clarification on what the markets are going to do. So stay tuned for that, guys. And... Uh, Let's see what happens. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. And remember, keep grinding on your stack.